Well, howdy, 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 and welcome back once again to the Withlacoochee River Special Weathering 101. Today, we're going to be working on this here Atherin flat car. And I want you to notice a couple of things. First of all, that load is not permanently attached yet. It will be because you see that load's going to make up the weight. Notice that that flat car, its stance is correct for the track. Uh, if you've ever built an Atherin flat car and you built it with the weight, you notice that the flat car sits, the flat car body sits a little high. If you leave the weight out, the car will sit correctly. Now, if you want to run the flat car empty, of course, you can put, uh, you can put bits and pieces of tape weights between the frames underneath. And it, you know, you can hide an awful lot of weight behind those fish belly sides. Uh, the uh, what we're going to do today, though, is before I make before I attach that machinery load or that steam load to it I guess that's a boiler of some kind I got it from Chooch Enterprises uh, we're gonna color the flat uh, the the flat car deck we're gonna get it a nice wood color and then we're gonna weather it and when we're done it's gonna look similar to this car up ahead of it that's holding the two wire reels now that car isn't an Atherin car <clears throat> In fact, I believe that one's possibly a Tyco. I'm not sure, uh, but uh, it came it came to me that way, the way that you see it now, and it's a pretty good looking car, and that's why I never really cast it out, even though it's a Tyco car. Got to admit, it looks pretty good. It's even got some dents on it. I don't know how the guy did that. I'm not going to be putting any dents on my new EJ and E flat car. But without any further delay, what we're going to use today, instead of uh, we're, we're going to we're going to get away from uh, using the uh, eyeshadow makeup, and today we're going to use uh, paint washes and and of course paints. And uh, here, let me show you what paints I use. As you can see, the paints that I use are typical testers paints. Uh, sometimes I'll use the uh, you know for painting buildings and stuff. I like to use the uh, art. Artsy type, arts and crafts type paints that you'd pick up at Walmart or at Michaels, you know, in a little plastic bottle for like, I think they're like 44 cents or anywhere from 44 cents to a dollar and 10 cents per bottle. These, I think, are just right at a dollar and nine cents per bottle. I picked these up at Michaels, all because I can't get anything at Dana's or any other train store, it seems like. They seem to always be out. Uh, it took Dana a long time to get paints in. I use lacquer thinner, just straight lacquer thinner you buy from uh, Walmart. Uh, you can you can thin enamels with lacquer thinner. You can thin lacquers with lacquer thinner. You cannot, however, do it the other way around. You cannot use an enamel thinner to thin a lacquer. It will not work. <clears throat> just just keep that in mind. What's in the big medicine bottle there? I got I got some pills in that once is my black wash. My black wash is made up of about one part India ink. India ink can be picked up at any Walmart store uh, or it can be picked up at uh, any office supply store or any art supply store. India ink is uh, it basically all it is is an ink. And I use uh, denatured alcohol about one part India ink to about ten parts denatured alcohol. That's about the, uh, that's about the norm. I also, uh, the, the way I do things, I do them in washes. Without any further delay, how about we get started on this car? I sure miss having that remote that my old camera used to have. Let me get some of these paints out of the way. And what we'll start, we're going to start with something called wood, I believe. No, that's flat brown. I got some wood here somewhere. Uh, here it is. And this is how we're going to start off. We're going to paint, and you'll also need paper towels, naturally. This uh, series on this particular model is probably going to take more than one episode. So bear with me. We will probably end up having to... Uh, work through two, maybe three episodes on this one. You want to get a little bit bigger, heftier brush uh, on, on this because you're going to be painting 
the wood color on the flat car deck. Now I'm going to warn you ahead of time, it's not going to look real, real, you're not going to have a whole lot of realism on this flat car deck just yet. Don't worry about getting 100% full coverage. You don't mind, ha you know, this is a black car, but you don't mind having some of the black show through. Uh, it doesn't have to be absolutely a perfect paint job. As you can see, it uh, it doesn't look all that realistic yet. You you just, you just got to work at it. But you see, that's where other methods will come in later. And will make that make make it a very much more realistic appearing car. I will also do another video on using washes, just standard washes. Uh, with a box car, I do have another unweathered box car that I had picked up at this month's train sale. I didn't do any sales at this month's train sale. I I really don't have anything left to sell, so I we didn't we didn't set up this month. I'll probably set up next month, which that's just a couple of weeks away, folks. I also intend to be taking a vacation here before long, and hopefully within that time frame, I'll be able to cough up a lot more uh, video work, maybe get resurrecting the dinosaurs restarted again, and, and things of that nature. And, uh, of course, get, you know, again, get the underground church off the ground, because it sure seems that... Uh, takes care of the deck. Now we're going to have to sit back, let that dry. Remember, you got to clean your brushes. This, un un unlike uh, working with, uh, un unlike working with uh, eye makeup, where you don't have to clean the brush, because you're not using a brush, here you got to work, you got to clean your brush every time. Like I said, I, now, this might be a little tester's bottle of thinner. I still use lacquer thinner. Even though I bought this, and you know, I, I like having the convenience of the bottles, I buy a big can of lacquer thinner and then I just, you know, as needed, it gets poured into the, into the little bottle. <laughs> 